Hi everybody, I'm here for In My Mailbox this week, and it's been like over a month since I've done uh, a vlog, and I think the last time was probably sometime in November, I don't remember when. Um, so of course that means I have a ton of books to show you, so I'm, I need to just go ahead and just get started. I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible. Um, first off, I got the third book, a third and final book in the um, Commercial Break series called Dramatic Pause um, by P.G. Kane, and um, P.G. sent it to me himself. Um, he also included um, a bookmark, a little business card thing, and an actual card where he wrote a little note. And um, I absolutely loved the first book in the series, and he also sent me, he's actually sent me all three books. Um, <laughs> And um, I have the second book, and I can't wait to read it. Um, and then, of course, I'll read this. I'll probably read them back to back at some point soon. Um, it's a really good series. Definitely check it out if you love middle grade. Um, and speaking of middle grade, I also got... Um, well, I got three books from Abrams. I can't seem to find the other one, um, the third one. I can only find two. Um, the Peculiars by Maureen um, McDowley. I can't remember, I, there's three names in it, I can't remember exactly what it was, which I am really excited to read, um, and it came out a while ago, so, um, but they also sent me an advanced copy of Genie Wishes by Elizabeth Dahl, and this is coming out in April, um, and it just sounds really interesting, um, and then of course I actually was just asking for, um, a copy of Awesome Blossom by Lauren Meyer Colt, this is the fourth and, um, Unfortunately, final book in the Flower Power series, um, I talked to Lauren on Twitter, and she said that it probably is going to be the last. So that makes me really sad, because I really, really, really love this series. It's so good. Um, again, if you're into middle grade, definitely check it out, or know somebody who did. You know, like, it's such a wonderful series. Lauren is a wonderful writer. Um, I also got um, an advanced copy of Return to Me by Justina Chen. And this is, um, I think probably, I think it's out right now. Um, it comes out this month. I know that. Um, and um, Justina sent me a copy, and so she signed it. Um, she's such a sweet, sweet person, and I cannot wait to read this book. Um, I've loved all of her previous books, and she's just such an amazing, amazing writer. If you haven't read any of her books, do so now. Um, I also got an advanced copy of, of Triton by Anna Banks. This is coming out in May. It's the sequel to Of Poseidon. And I have not yet read Of Poseidon, but I really, really, really want to, and I do have an advanced copy of that, and so I decided to ask for a copy of this, too. Um, so I'll be reading them back to back. Um, I got two books from the library. Um, if We Kiss by Rachel Vale. Um, mainly so that I could reread it in preparation for the sequel, which just came out six years later, <laughs> called um, Kiss Me Again. Um, and uh, so I'm going to need to get around to this sometime soon because it's due back. Um, and I also checked out Beautiful Creatures um, by uh, Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And I kind of blanked on the names. Um, and um, this is, of course, in preparation for the movie coming out next month. And um, I'm about halfway through, maybe a little less than halfway through, um, which is much better than the last time I checked it out from the library when I, I'm, when I only made it about four pages in um, and then had to take it back. Um, so I'm really, really hoping to finish it soon. Um, I'm doing my best. I'm going to read some more after I finish this video. And I'm really excited to see the movie. It looks so good. Um, I got an advanced copy of Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo, and this is coming out in June from uh, Macmillan, and um, same sort of thing actually with this with um, of Triton. Um, I haven't read the first book, I have an advanced copy of it, um, and it sounds so good. I've heard such wonderful, wonderful things, so I need to get around to reading it soon. Please don't mess up the camera, Pearl. Really, you should have just stayed over there. Um, I got a paperback of The Death Cure by James Dashner. Please get away from the... the camera. I almost said computer. Um, I got an advanced copy of Nobody by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, and this is coming out, um, I think it may already be out. It might be January 22nd, I can't remember. 
Um, but I finished this book. It is good. I also reviewed it. I'm holding a contest right now, um, which is open until this coming Wednesday, I think. Um, but just go enter now. Um, and because there's only, I think, like two or three people who have entered. So you've got some really good odds of winning uh, a hardcover of this and a paperback of her previous standalone every other day. Um, all right. Um, from Tour, for some reason, they're sending me adult books. I don't know why. Um, and so they sent me a copy of The Catholic Gambit by M.C. Plank. Don't know what it is. Um, my friend Tracy um, gave me a thank you gift for taking care of her dog um, while she was in school. And, um, and so she got me this book, The Doctor's Life by Elizabeth Brundage. And because she recommended it to me, and I kept meaning to read it, and then like, but then like two or three months later, I still haven't gotten around to it because like, so, too many books. So, so she just ended up buying me a copy so that I just have one. Um, so I'm hoping to get around to this soon because it does sound really, really good. Um, I got a package from Disney contain containing um, the Archives by Victoria Schwab, which I'm in the middle of reading right now and really, really loving it. I wasn't, I was a little meh about um, The Near Witch, um, which is Schwab's debut, um, but this one sounded really interesting and so I wanted to give her another shot and it's really paying off. So um, I'm going to be seeing her this Friday along with Ellen O, um, who wrote Prophecy, Jody Meadows, who wrote Incarnate in the Sunder, and Beth Ravis, who wrote the um, Across the Universe trilogy. I'm really, really excited to go, and I can't wait, and I can't wait to get the sign. Um, and I also got Shadowlands by Kate Bryan. I haven't read anything by Kate Bryan at all, um, but I've read uh, the He's So, She's So trilogy that she wrote under her real name, Karen Scott. Um, but this one sounds really, really good, and I can't wait to read it. Um, I also got a finished copy of Level 2 by Lenore Applehans, my friend, and um, loved this book so much. I posted a review a couple weeks ago. Um, really, really good. Go buy it. Um, I also got, um, I think that's it for everything. Now it's just 17 Harper books that I've gotten in the past week. I'm not joking. 17 of them. Um, most of them are arcs. Uh, these two are not. Um, Clash and Crash by um, Nicole Williams. And this is a trilogy that they picked up that was self-published. Um, and the third book is coming out in April. Um, I'm going to be donating these to my library because I really don't care about them. Harsh, I know, but it's kind of true. Um, so a bunch of arcs now um, from... Um, from April and May, um, coming out or coming out in April and May. Um, Unbreakable by Elizabeth Norris. I still haven't read Unraveling, and I really, really want to. And now I have the sequel, so I'm gonna do my best. Um, Life After Theft by April and Pike. I read Wings. I really liked it. I have the other three books in the series, and then haven't gotten around to them. Um, but I'm really excited to read this one, and, and um, cannot wait. How Zoe Made Her Dreams Mostly Come True by Sarah Strohmeyer. Um, I have uh, Sarah's previous books, um, Smart Girls Get What They Want, and I love, um, you know, what they're doing, and these look like really cute contemporary books, and so I should probably read them, because I love contemporary, but I haven't gotten around to them. Um, the Silver Dream, um, I don't even know, because there's a story by, and then it's written by somebody else, so I, I'm really confused. But um, it's apparently it's a sequel to um, Interworld. So, um, yeah, so there it is. Um, the Rising by Kelly Armstrong. This is the final book in the Darkness Rising trilogy. Um, and I still haven't read the Darkness Rising trilogy. I read the first three books, um, Darkness Awakening, I think, uh, whatever it was called, and um, Darkest Powers trilogy. I read that one, and I have all three books in the Darkness Rising trilogy, but I have not yet read them. And I really need to, because I really love this series. It's so good. Rise an by Anna Carey. This is the final book in the Eve trilogy. Um, also, haven't read this series yet. I, I, I swear, I do read books. I do. I really, really do. Um, which is, uh, but I really need to get around to reading that. 
Um, Arc Light by Josen L. McQuen. I don't know. Um, and I hadn't even heard about this book, which is really surprising. To my knowledge, I can't, or at least it wasn't something that I was thinking about. I may have written it down and then forgotten about it, but um, it sounds really interesting. It's a debut thriller, um, and the cover is very pretty. So, obviously a book you need to get. Um, the Shadow Girl by Jennifer Archer. Um, Jennifer wrote the book Through Her Eyes, which came out, um, I think, two years ago. Um, and I'm so excited that she finally has another book coming out, um, another YA book. I think she's still writing adult books. Um, and I loved Through Her Eyes, cannot wait to read this book. And she was so sweet to actually email me and to make sure that I got a copy of it. And then it turned up in an art package. So I may end up getting an extra that I can give away to you guys. The Boyfriend app by Katie Cease. And this just looks really cute. So I can't, so I, I think it'll be something I'm definitely going to read. The Ward by Jordana Frankel. And this looks really interesting. I love this cover. It's so cool. Um, and it just sounds really good. So I'm going to get around to it. So can't wait to read it. Um, Darius and Twig by Walter Jean Myers. And it's a really short, tiny book. And it's, well, it's 200 pages, but yeah. So there you go. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> The Elite by Kira Cass. Loves the selection. Cannot wait to read this book. Um, may have to read it very, very, very soon. And not wait for the release date. Dead Silence by Kimberly Durding. Um, this is the fourth and final book, um, I believe, in the Body Finder series. Um, I read the Body Finder, and I had the second and third and now fourth books. Have not read them yet. I feel really bad because I love them so much. Um, Fragments by Dan Wells. I did not read partials either, um, so I don't know. I may end up just trying, I may end up just maybe giving these away at some point. I don't know. Um, so, there you go. Um, and finally, Taken by Aaron Bowman, which looks so good, and I can't wait to read it, and I'm so happy I got a copy. So, very, very excited. And that is it. <sighs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. So many books, so little time. Um, so, hope you enjoyed watching this. I will try and get back into a more regular schedule. Um, mainly it just depends on, you know, like books in my own schedule and stuff kind of thing. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see what you guys got in your, in, in your mailboxes. I almost said in your my mailboxes, and that makes no sense. Um, in your mailboxes, and I will see you at some point in the future. Bye.